The Pelungu market is buzzing with activities. Hundreds of people from the hinterlands have converged on the indigenous market for trade. Christmas is a few weeks away, so most of the rural dwellers have just come to shop ahead of the festivities. Foodstuff such as cereals and grains, fish and groceries are among items budgeted for by the shoppers. However, the prices of the commodities scared away some buyers as almost all wares displayed for sale at the market have seen sharp price increases. People have traveled from far and near to the Pelungu market just to shop ahead of the Christmas festivity. The market is the biggest in the Nabdam district and for the district assembly, this has been their cash cow. Unfortunately for the shoppers, their budget for their shopping expeditions have to be reviewed because upon getting to the market, prices of food staff have increased and they are blaming the hike on the constant increase in prices of petroleum products. Prices of food on the market increase every day because transportation fares have gone up. In order for us to stay in business, we are compelled to increase the prices of our wares. Larry Bapuabri has been selling grains at the Pelungu market for a decade. Three months ago, this measuring can of millet was being sold for 10 CDs, but it now goes for 30 CDs. This also now sells as 30 CDs from 20 CDs over the same period. Our customers can no longer afford the usual quantities of grains because most of them are getting poorer. Grains, like other crops cultivated in the Upper East region, have been affected by factors including climate change, high cost of fertilizers and post-harvest losses. She explains to the news team in the Akan language why food has become so expensive even in the villages. Food is in season, but the farmers will not release them onto the market. They create artificial shortage to induce price hikes so they can make more profits. Hoarding has also taken a center stage in the price hike of food commodities sold at the market. For some shoppers, they have to leave the market disappointed. The money that I have, it will not reach what I'm going to buy. Christmas time, if you don't have money, it's bad, you cannot do anything. So it will affect us. We cannot celebrate the Christmas. Some of the traders say the demand for certain edibles will inform further price hikes ahead of the Yuletide. Stanley Nibleu, TV3 News, Pelungu, Nabdam.